Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Asalala kareem rabbil arshil azim in yatawallana fi dunya wal akhira. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all, preserve us all, forgive us all, guide us all. Help our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Gaza. Give them everything they need. Help the Muslims. Protect the Muslims. Preserve the Muslims. And protect us from the oppression of the Valimin. Ahabatifillah, a question was asked, a very serious question about shirk. And as it was posed uh, to me, Sheikh, it was given to my husband, meaning someone was given this ta'weez, or ta'weez as they say in maybe in Urdu or, or, and so forth, in Hindi, uh, that basically a, a tales, talisman or a, like some sort of charm or like a, a necklace or something which some people put faith in and believe that it can protect you from evil or it can cause you good okay so the questioner says it this was given uh to my husband but i found out it's major shirk which takes you out of islam i cry night and day because you can make a mistake in our religion for major shirk i ended up in a difficult time uh, and found out I'm not Muslim. I cry day and night, uh, etc. Okay. First and foremost, my sister in Islam, you're a Muslim. You are a Muslim. In fact, the delil shows us, the evidence shows us from your situation that you feel great sadness about what happened and transpired. You are a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why you feel sadness in your heart and you cry about the situation you are a muslim that's first and foremost secondly the issue with the ta'wiz you know these talismans and stuff it's not just having one but it's your ittiqad it's your creed did now the the question comes did you believe in this and think that this was going to cause you harm and this was going to uh, sorry this was going to protect you from harm and it was going to cause you good and blessings or you put your faith your ittiqad this is where the shirk comes in did you do you put uh faith in these uh in a bracelet in a necklace in some sort of charm a rabbit's foot as many people do in the west thinking that that can cause you benefit or uh protect you from harm and that is shirk if you did not do that you have not committed shirk and if you did that, it's clear you have repented from that. In that, you feel sorrow. That's a condition for repentance. You um, have stopped it. That's a condition for pent repentance. You have the determination to never return to it. That's a condition for repentance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts your repentance. Alhamdulillah, you're a Muslim. You're a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why you feel sadness. This is why you feel stress. This is why you feel difficulty. So I'm so happy <laughs> to know <laughs> that my Muslim sister uh, that is trying to just love Allah and practice Allah and establish her relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm glad to be a part of that. So understand and know <laughs> you're a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not stress over that. Allah says in the Quran, in the Allah, la yaghfiru in yushrika bi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik in liman yasha. Verily Allah doesn't commit, forgive that you commit shirk with him, but he forgives other than that for what? Uh, for whomsoever he wishes or whatever sins he wishes. Now let's stop there. What does that mean? It means that the person who dies on shirk, they die on shirk, they die in disbelief, they will not be forgiven by Allah. Meaning they died especially on the major shirk. Alhamdulillah, you're still alive. You still have another few minutes, another hour, another day, another month, another year, we hope, years. You have already made toba from that. You're already free from that. That's behind you if even you committed shirk. So we have to know and understand the meaning of the verses, the meaning of these Messiah that you have mixed together because the people didn't sit and teach you. Maybe you didn't sit in the classes with the right people who are teaching you uh, about your Islam and teaching you about the book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the pious predecessors, meaning the Sahabat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala in the So, we ask that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala the Almighty accepts our good and forgives us our evil, protects us all from kulisu wa makru, blesses us all with ikhlas, sincerity, and thabat, and firmness on the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh oh my muslim sister